Hey everyone, welcome to the Cowboy Kitchen. We're going to do some caramel corn today. And I'm going to let you know uh, how to do it. I've already made my popcorn. Now let's just make the caramel now. Oops, I've got to turn this on. Get the, my butter melted. So while that's melting... Here's the recipe, 10 to, cu 10, cups, 10 to 12 cups of popcorn, 1 cup packed brown sugar, 1 cup or 1 stick of butter, a uh, cup of corn syrup, quarter cup, half a teaspoon of salt, and then baking soda, a half a teaspoon of that. And you also want to get... The extra large for caramel type. Um, I got this from eBay. I also got another bag from the Amish store. I don't know if the regular grocery stores has it. I assume they do. But this is the best for caramel corn. So I already have my one stick of butter in there along with the uh, brown sugar and my salt. And I'll add the corn syrup here in a minute. You also want to set your oven because you're going to have to bake it for, recipe calls for an hour. But I don't think it really takes that long. For only 200 degrees, I think it just bakes the caramel into the, car, or the popcorn. And then you want to flip it every 10-15 minutes or stir it up or whatever. But then let, let it, um, take it out of the oven, let it cool, and then put it in your Ziploc bags and enjoy eating it. All right, we can add this carm, uh, corn syrup now. And it says to let it boil to where it's just boiling around the edges and then time it from there. You want to let it boil for five minutes. It's already starting to boil around the edges on medium to low heat. All right, we're going to start timing it now. You also want to keep stirring it so it doesn't burn on you. I'm going to make two parts of this video. And the second part to show you when it's done and what it looks like. Looking good. Caramel corn is great for any snack, but especially during the holidays. So yeah, you want to get your popcorn done first and get that all ready.
don't think it's been 10 minutes, but I think it's close enough. All right. Mix that in there. We'll turn off our heat. That's really starting to bubble up. Now we'll pour it all over our popcorn. You want to try to get it all coated. too much popcorn. We can always make more of the caramel. Oh no, maybe not. That's about right, I guess. Look at that, coming together perfectly. Mm-mm-mm. And this is why I'm so fat. Ah, just kidding. Yeah, that's looking real good. Now you want to put it on your cookie sheet. You can also add nuts to it if you'd like. I've done that before. That always tastes good as well. All right, we'll put this in the oven. And then we'll flip her around a couple of times. And I'll show you the end result on the next video. Until then, this is the Cowboy Kitchen. We'll see you next time.